good morning guys welcome back to the garden welcome back to another video I hope you're blessed and doing well well this morning I'm doing my morning walk in the garden my morning routine and of course we're out for the summer so I can come out here a lot earlier even though I'm about to go in in just a second and make some breakfast I always have to come out here and just kind of walk around and I always check on the squash plants first now why why do I check on the squash plants first you say because the squash plants are in danger <laughs> they're in danger they're in danger because of the squash vine borer okay so I'm constantly checking for the squash vine borer eggs and checking the leaves because down here in the south you know we have the vine borer and that bad boy would take out your crop okay you guys <laughs> I believe the vine borer got me you guys I believe he got me I don't know I see some evidence that he's been drilling at the plant we're gonna go in a little bit and we're gonna take a closer look and we're gonna see we're gonna see if, if um let's see if you got me this is this plant is is new just getting going I mean just putting on flowers and let's just go in and see Hey guys, I was just editing that video there and I noticed that a clip is missing. One of the most important parts of the clip was missing. When I was looking at the Costado Romanesco, it had been hit by the squash vine borer. What I did was I took my my little shears. Um, let me see if I can find them. I took some shears, my gardening shears, and I sliced open the, the base of the plant just a little bit just slightly about a half an inch open to get the vine borer out i found the vine borer i don't know where that clip is it is deleted off my my um sd card i can't find it guys i'm so sorry but i showed you what that vine borer looked like and i killed it it was more than one in the plant um and then what i did was i went inside and i got my bt um, and it's an organic um, for worms, soft-bodied worms. It's a, it's a natural recurring bacteria. What I did with that BT was I pumped it into the hole of the, the squash where that vine borer was. I wrapped it and sealed it with foil and then I buried the stem into the ground. That's my neighbor. Then I buried the stem into the ground and covered it with soil. Let me tell, take, let me let you see what I did and how I did it. Okay, let me let you see. Okay, guys. So here it is, right here. I try to uncover it. See these little worms like that? Those little millipedes, whatever. They'll, they'll, they'll kill you plant too. They eat at it. Mm, kill those. Um, so okay, here's where he burrowed in. And I'm so sorry about my nails, guys. Sorry about that. But this is where he buried into the plant here. Okay, I'm not gonna peel it back and open it up. What I did was I sliced it open. So this plant has been injured. It had a wound, okay? And I squirted the BT up into the plant really, really good all around it. Then I covered it with foil and sealed the BT up into the plant. Then I covered it. I covered it up really really deep all the way up here okay and then after I did that um, I took the BT and I I took the BT and squirted it all over this area all on the leaves all on the stems everywhere so if that vine borer would have chewed at this plant at all um, it would die okay I think I see another hole I see another hole the, the trick, I think, to get in the vine borer is catching him early. That's the trick. Let me see. I think I see another one. God, dog, let me get my shears. Okay. Let me see. Cut this off. 
you know I can't hardly see you guys so I am so sorry if this is bad footage all right so let me take this out and I'm just looking at it right now I'm observing the inside okay and I'm gonna look at the inside of that hole where I cut and I'm just trying to see if I see any holes okay Okay, I don't see any holes. I'm gonna bear it back up. I'm gonna cover it up. I don't know if I'm getting this on camera, but that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna just cover it up. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back out here with that BT. And then I'm gonna spray this stem. Spray. I'm gonna spray the whole plant. Well, there you go. There you have it. He got into that plant and I just went over and looked at one of my crooked squash plants and it looks like he got in that one also. And um, I'm going to take and further drill the hole inside of the plant, spray the insecticidal organic insecticidal soap inside of the plant um, and see if it can kill it. Just saw a couple of videos on some um some people that did that and it worked for them so we'll see we'll see i'm really bummed out about it um yeah really bummed out about it so i'm over here in my squash and pumpkin bed and watermelon patch and i want to just check these plants and see um if if he's gotten into any of those i am going to be so annoyed if he did because oh my gosh you guys come on no 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 all right so let's see oh gosh i'm just not even come on please so all right so i'm gonna go in here and take a look let's see all right so here we are over here by my other squash this is the squash and watermelon patch right the, the area that i have designated for them and um we have fruit in there so oh my gosh no please mm. Looks like that stem looks good. Okay, that one looks good. Let's see. I'm gonna come over here to this one. Let's look at this one, guys. Uh oh. Uh. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't look good. I don't know. I'm trying to see if there's a hole. Oh, gosh. It looks like there's a hole in there. Oh, my gosh. Let's just, let me just take a look at how large these plants are, okay? I'm just saying. This particular one is climbing up on the tomatillo. And the tomatillo's holding its own strong plant. But we don't want it to climb on the tomatillo. So we're going to take it off. And if it wants to climb on something, I'll let it climb on that. Oh, so sad. Oh, so sad. This is so sad because look at this plant, it's producing so well. Oh, look, guys, I have a tomatillo. Look at that! Yay, how exciting! Okay, let me get this trellis up here and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so there, um, there's a Mexican bean beetle right here, um, crawling on my squash plant. Okay, Mexican bean beetles are a no-no in the garden. Sorry, Mexican bean beetle, but they're a no-no. Um, check the undersides of your leaves and 
um, make sure you're looking. Let's see what this is flying about. Um, but yeah, check the undersides of your leaves for any eggs that may be um, getting laid under here. You have the Mexican bean beetle, you have the squash beetle, you have the um, stink bug, all of those, the squash vine borer, all of those different bugs will lay eggs on this plant um, at the base of the plant for the squash vine borer. So, you know, you just have to really watch it and look for it and um, try to eliminate any of those issues before they really get going. Look at the sorrel, it's leaning, it's getting hot out here. So um, it stands straight up when it's nice and cool, but when it starts getting warm, it will droop. Oh my gosh, we have flowers blooming in the garden, which are beautiful. These are Black Eyed Susan, the Rebecca, uh, for any of my new gardeners. And then we have some of the balsam camellias that are blooming over there. These are balsam camellias and they are just self-seeded from last season. I did not plant those there. And usually any flower is welcome in the garden. Um, let's see, let's go over here. The beans are pretty much done. They're fizzling out. Still have an occasional sugar snap growing on there. I'll harvest those in just a minute. So we did harvest the zucchini. And I'm really, really excited about that. My first zucchini of the season. Um, here we have the bell peppers are starting to come on. And these are, these are the sweet bells, the sweet red. And they're getting really large, um, you guys. Let me see. They're, they're big. It's a nice size pepper, don't you think? And um, they're all over this plant. So this is an excellent variety to grow. Um, if you haven't had any good luck with your peppers, this sweet, this sweet bell pepper is sweet red. I, I like it so far. Um, I don't remember any of my bell peppers coming on this, this um, hard and fast and this large this soon. I really don't. So I'm impressed with this pepper. A few moments later. Like her and they're being friendly with her. Look. Mm -hmm. Hello, Kitty. Come here, Kitty. <laughs> well, tell Mom I'm about to water the garden. in the garden and I was just saying that I might get a cat <laughs> I'm cleaning up the deck taking trash out and I'm about to take out this big bag of trash I'm over here and the kitty cat just walks up on me in the garden well I hear this meow 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 and I'm like what is that and I look around and this there's a cat just walks into my yard and I can't, and my boys say that it might be one of our um, neighbor's cats that used to live next door and they moved a few months ago. They had a lot of cats. So we're not too sure it might be, but I'm gonna show, um, show her, the, the, my neighbor that used to live over there, show her a video of the cat to see if that was one of their cats. Because like literally, I don't know if it's a she or not, but she's acting like she already knows where she is. She already is familiar with the boys. She's friendly, she's lovable. Oh my gosh, you guys know I need a cat to keep those snakes out of this garden. This is, this is just amazing. I cannot believe it, I'm so excited. Desert doing. Where are you going? You looking around the garden? You already been in here. So you already know. Hmm? 
What are you doing? You saying hello to everybody? You gonna tell them you're gonna help keep the snake away? <laughs> Think she's gonna help keep the snake away. Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here, kitty, kitty. Give him something soft to play with, Nelly. All right, guys. I guess that's it for today. I'm um, I'm just watering the garden, and um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.